Hey, it's Sebastian TK11697, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to trim a helmet since uh, someone asked about cutting out the eyes for their tie, and this pretty much goes for, uh, well, for all TK face plates. So, regular face plate, untrimmed, still has the, uh, the flash on the side here, so the bottom looks generally like this. Um, you might want to check under here if this is too soft. I mean, it should be able to bend, but if it's so soft that it feels like you can crack it any minute, I want to take that into consideration. It might have been a bad pull. And before you get to trimming it, um, maybe get a replacement one. So first we'll go with the underside. Very easy to have Lexan, uh, Lexan scissors. Um, they cut through, they're made to cut through plastic, so, so you have a general idea of where you want to cut, which, uh, would be under these like jowls right across to where the line is here for the vocorder. And keep going under the other jowl. Sorry, I'm doing this at awkward angles. So it's on video, but and then around the sides now. So this helmet, this face plate, you can see there's some side left. You see how it was trimmed out. Black sands are good, but if you have something bigger for this, just because it's a nice, easy cut. this side. You don't have to cut across the top if you don't want, but kind of if you'd like. I might take a little bit off here because this was pretty, uh, yeah. There's a, there's a line you can see across the top where it's pulled. You can cut it off. You don't have to. I'm just going to do it because it might get in the way of the helmet when I'm putting the pieces together, so there you go, basic shape, sides cut out, bottom cut out, but the problem is with the eyes, so you see the eyes are still in, it's a pretty good A grade pull helmet, it's nice sharp lines on it, drill, um, drill in a couple of places, one place on the eye over here, not exactly in the corner, but close enough. So, one in the far corner, in the inner part of the eye, one of this lower section here. So, you see where the three drilling spots are. Now, again, you're back to your smaller Lexan scissors, and this is be careful not to chew up any of this area over here with the scissors. Said so you don't want to, you know, just be mindful of where you're cutting. But put the scissors in the hole. So you've cut from this hole, sorry, from this hole to this hole, and this hole to the end. You've got, so now you got the line cut straight across. Now you take this bottom most hole and you cut up and now you're just connecting this hole. Now it's not super clean cut but now the eyes are out. Now you can clean it up with the scissors. You said you want to cut well it's up to you how big you want the eyes but now you can go when you could start to find a fine-tuning your cuts here to make nice straight lines. So what I've learned, if you happen to have the advantage of a handheld belt sander, if you look at the inside of the eyes here, if you could leave maybe five or six millimeters protruding from the edge in here and then cut away the rest, 
will actually take the shape of the eye. So this is going to be loud for a second. So now you could hand sand it. You could use a razor a couple of different ways. But again, if you could cut away that inside so that it looks like this without even looking at the front, I did that completely from behind. You have a perfectly trimmed eye. Um, again, I'll do it again with this side. You know, hole close to here. So, three holes. Now, your scissors may be curved or they may be straight. Some of them have a curve to them, which I guess is useful for getting around some corners, and some are perfectly straight, which would be a little more useful now. You can also pull up on the plastic. If you do, that'll help you cut a little more. Now, as you can see, I've cut almost straight across, but there's this last section here, which is where if you don't want to spend time sanding, you could take your razor and dig it up in the eye, right up to the gap here. And just score and snap it out. Not perfect right off the bat, but not bad for 30 seconds of work. Like I said, you just clean it up with your scissors. I won't use the belt sander on this one. I'll just purely use the scissors. So I get a better, give it a better look on this eye. I still will need to sand it, but nearly perfect eye. A little bit of sanding, it'll be fine. And uh, that's it. Of course, if you want, you could also cut out these. The guy was asking about a tie pilot. Um, you could leave them in if you're going for that level two certification. Otherwise, if you want a little more circulation, uh, you can cut these out. Although with the tie, the helmet is absolutely freaking huge. You could put two, three, four fans in there if you want. If circulation's really going to be that big of a problem. Um, and that's it. So I'm going to finish off this helmet. And that'll be the end of it. Oh, little pro tip since I have it here. Uh, if you happen to have a soldering tool, instead of drilling out this area, use the soldering tool. Because it will melt the plastic around it. And it will prevent uh, cracking. Because the plastic will be... Uh, actually harder around the opening here instead of uh, softer or prone to cracking if you cut it out. So that's that's that. All right.